love these things. Yo, what's up dudes? Johnny Bean here, Guitar Center. I just found this. It's a used Dan Electro 59M is what they're calling it. That's a headstock a lot of you guys don't like. I personally love these headstocks. I think they're cool. That's where the EVH Star got its headstock from these guitars. And this is a, a reissue of, a, of a, an original uh, series. Uh, obviously it's called the, the 59. So from 59, I guess. Jimmy Page played these. I actually had one of these. I actually gave it to somebody to repaint for me and I never saw it again. <laughs> Haven't seen it in like 25 years. But these are cool. They're hollow ish these newer ones they, they kind of feel like like plastic but the original ones are made of uh i think, I think masonite anyway as you can see from the thumbnail i'm playing through a saldano what are these the slo 30 bm 30 watt tube very cool uh -huh. Cool sound. How are you feeling? Hope you're feeling better. Yeah, so yeah, these are cool. It's got the, the three by three. It's got the, the Cluson style tuners, if they're not Clusons, Clusons. Bolt on neck. It's got the, the two uh, lipstick pickups. There you go. Hey, Lisa, welcome. Hey, Jay on, uh, on Facebook, Jimmy's first guitar. Is that true? I love these things. I would actually consider this. Three, it's used for $349.99 here at Guitar Center. Like I said, I had an original one of these years ago and I gave it to somebody to paint and I haven't seen it since. That's like 25 years ago. Mine was the, well, I'm repeating myself, but. Has cool TV style old knobs for volume and tone for each pickup, three-way switch. These guitars are extremely light. And again, these are known as the Jimmy Page. And these headstocks, this is known as a, a Coke bottle headstock. It kind of looks like a Coke bottle. And again, a lot of you guys, you guys know the EVH guitars. They, they made the replica of the EVH Star guitar. This is the headstock that they were kind of replicating. It's not exact the way they did it. Maybe that's why a lot of people think it's weird because it doesn't look like the exact one, which is this. But this is the headstock that they were, that they were going for because these, this style neck is what Edward had on the Star guitar. So anyway, this one's used at Guitar Center right now. I actually, I see these guys when I go to the NAMM show. I think I'll, uh, if they're there this year, actually just coming up in what, a few weeks? Starting January 24th, I'll, uh, I'll interview them. Uh, looks like a creamsicle. Jamie, hey Jamie, I got your message. I'm glad you got your, uh, your magazine, man. Yeah, this is a cool color. It's like an orange, like 50-50 bar. It's just got the orange and like the, the, the white. Yeah, this is a cool looking guitar. And again, I'm plugged into the Saldano and it's kind of overdriven. I would like to clean it up. I can. Oh, there we go.
actually technically it's an A. <laughs> oh gosh. I haven't played yet today. Oh wait. Wait a minute. There we go. I haven't played. I need to play something easier. That's not an easy riff, you guys. That riff, it, it's really not. You gotta play that riff for years to even get it down. I think it's an A. Yeah. This guitar has a great clean tone, thank you to the two lipstick pickups. guitar to record with. It gets great clean tones. Hey buddy! Looks like a cream pop. Yeah, everybody's saying that. I like this, man. I like this guitar. Welcome on Facebook. This would be an excellent record recording guitar for recording tones. Tones! playing that in that key, that's why. There you go. Currently fun looking and it's sounding good. Jamie, thank you so much. Yeah, extremely light. And this Soldano amp is cool too, man. Listen to this. Although this isn't the type of guitar, really, for some of these tones. But when you flip the switch, you can definitely hear that it's hollow. You can hear that. There we go, yeah. has a great sound. But again, this, these clean tones are really where it's at with this guitar. Let me 
coming, especially when you use both pickups. Hey, Jay, what's up, dude? What's up, man, on Facebook? Hey. Where's the volume, man? Creamsicle, yeah. <laughs> it's a cool color. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Man. I just want to play it on the on the clean tones. This thing. Charles on Facebook. Charles Kelly. Michael. Use the orange amp. Oh, yeah, I know. Actually, it's just a cabinet. There's no actual amp. There's no orange amp. It's just a cabinet. It's got an EVH on top of it. It's just the cab. Yeah, it's the same with the 6505 I normally play through when I'm here. It's just, no, that's through an orange cab as well. They don't have any orange amps in the room. Yeah, it sounds great. No, I don't work for Guitar Center. A lot of people think I work for Guitar Center. I mean, I wish I did, but I don't.
Let them know. Tell them that. We could get some better lights in here. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Definitely. page played yes these are known as the it's known as the page model the double cut technically it's called the 59 m but zeppelin fans and classic guitar fans know this as the jimmy page van halen evh gear fans know this as as the star headstock ish fender kind of made something similar to this when they made the the, the star guitar because Edward had a, a um, an original down electro neck on the star guitar. So, anyway, these are great, you guys. I dig it. I would definitely, if, if I was able to, I would definitely pick this up. Like I said, the cl these guitars, it's, it's really about the clean sound, the clean tones. And for recording... Let's see, Lisa's saying, this might sound like silly questions. Anybody here know about guitars? Uh, there's a Red Fiesta Strat Classic Series I've spotted around for the equivalent of, uh, does it sound like a good investment? How much is that in, in US for a Red Fiesta Strat? How much US and where is it made? Where is it? Is it you? Is it a U.S. guitar? Yeah, this sounds great. These definitely have a unique sound because of the pickups and because of the the uniqueness of the body, the the construction. Definitely a unique unique tone. Is that a beep? That's a, um, I think it's security. $630? Charles Kelly, yes, these are hollow. They are hollow. $630 US, where is the guitar made, Lisa? If it's, if it's a US guitar? then probably it depends on on the uh condition too if you want send me a message on facebook if you happen to if you have a photo of the guitar send send a photo of it and and uh we can tell you more more about that Yeah, these are great though, man. I dig it. It's awesomeness. It's Sunday currently of, of the recording of this video. This is, we're live by the way. I probably should have said that. And I'll be live tonight, Sunday night, whatever the date is today. We're live tonight. We'll be talking to, to you guys know Ron Gunner. He's been joining me on my, some of my uh, talk shows. His son is in a band, they're called Faith and Failure. I'll be interviewing them tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. So tune in tonight for that. Does have a great tone, Charles is saying on Facebook. Even acoustically. It's 
a great guitar just to play acoustically too. Send photos of the guitar if, if possible. You can message me on Facebook or WhatsApp, Instagram, anywhere. You can message me anywhere. Yeah, great sounding guitar. Yeah, all right. You guys, I'm gonna let you go. I like to try to keep these, these videos short and to the point of, of these specific guitars. I'll see you guys tonight. Somebody's rocking out out there. Look out. All right. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys tonight. Thank you for, uh, for hanging out, you guys. It's been awesome. Smash that thumbs up. Smash that subscribe if you're brand new. We're trying to get to 12K uh, YouTube subscribers. We're trying. One of these days, we'll do it. All right, thanks for hanging out, you guys. I will see you guys tonight. All right? Johnny Bean TV? All right. Bye-bye.